Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Breaking Bells. What is up, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode of Breaking Bells. I am Bobby, the Nintendo Guru, joined by the amazing Holly, the wonderful Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte has been gracious enough to join us this week. Uh, this episode, obviously, if you're watching, you're watching on Charlotte's channel. If you're new to Charlotte's channel, please smash the subscribe button. Please, please, please. Do it. What's, um, what's the? It takes less than a second. Exactly. It should be done by now. But or you'll get a lifetime of content. Well, I hope I'm not putting you in it by saying that. But yeah. <laughs> she's like, she's like, by the way, I was quitting. I was quitting next week, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Since we're on your channel, we like to do something a little bit differently as we lead in and we end the week. I like to start off with like just kind of a little interview set thing, a uh, little bit of let, giving your audience a background of Animal Crossing because I don't know if people know your whole your whole thing. I definitely don't, and I'm curious. So we're gonna start with three questions. First question: do it. Um, What is the greatest Nintendo game ever played? No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what is uh what is your first Animal Crossing game that you ever played? Wild World was my favorite uh, my first one so on the DS. So, that's so the I got first that. I can't think how old I was when I got it, but I loved it. I played it for about a year and a half. I was so excited every time the seasons changed. That was <laughs> So you were about do you not, you don't know how old you were? No, I can't remember. It was a long time ago. <laughs> well, think. Like I'm 28 now, so maybe like I don't know. 10, 11? Something like that, 12? yeah. Right around there, yeah. How did you How did you get it? Um, I don't know. I think I just my mum and dad picked it up. It was probably like a present for Christmas or birthday or whatever. And Did, um, did you already have a I'd DS like, and they bought you the game? Or was it, you know, they bought oh, you the DS? I already had my DS. Oh, okay. so I'd already okay. had that. Um, I'd had that from the launch when it came out with that bloody Nintendogs game. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I love, I love it. <laughs> and then I picked up Animal Crossings when that came out, and I loved it. I think the thing what I liked most about it was the fact that it followed the day cycle, the day and night cycle in real life, mm -hmm. because it reminded me of Pokemon Gold and Silver when that introduced the day and night cycle. Yes. And I used to love like waiting for the certain days to go to the underground market and get all the different stuff. I used to love it. So that was why I liked the game so much, I think. <laughs> so correct me if I'm wrong. Like you've been gaming for a while. Like this is your thing. You've, you, you're into yeah. games. Um, who... We're going to take a little side tangent for a second, if you don't mind. <laughs> like, who got you in the games? Uh, my dad. So, we used to have a Sega Mega Drive. That was the first games console. So, that, that is all. House. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> <Right. this episode>. <laughs> <laughs> that's what got me into it. I know it's not legit Nintendo, but that's and, what we had. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, to be fair, to be fair, I, I, I say that joke. But, to be fair, Nintendo didn't go to Europe until the Super Nintendo. The yeah. original yeah. Nintendo was not there. So you guys were kind of brought up your Mario and stuff is or your 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 original system is the Genesis or the Ma the well you call it the Mega Drive, which is yeah. the Sega Genesis, but also the Master System, which was like the original Nintendo. Um but here in the United States they both kind of came out right around the same time and Nintendo oh. took over. So that's ah, a little I bit of I did not know that. Yeah, yeah I didn't know that either. So we had that, and then since then we just had Nintendo and, like, we had all the Nintendo systems pretty much, and then all the Playstations, and mm -hmm. we just kind of powered. My favorite was when the PS1 came out, and you could copy the games what you got from Blockbusters, because they were on CD drives. <laughs> oh so you used to gosh. go and hire the games, you copy naughty. Them, and then boom, you had them forever. <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. That's such a funny little memory. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we're going to have criminal charges brought up against us too as well, so that's that's good. Um, of all the Animal Crossing games that you have played, what is your favorite Animal Crossing? I think at the minute it's definitely New Horizons. Okay. So I've got quite a lot of nostalgia around wild world mm -hmm. um but yeah i think definitely new horizons for sure i just look i think it's the graphics that have brought it because it's on a home system now mm -hmm. you can play it on the big tv and yeah. the graphics i just i don't know it's just added that next level like the museum and stuff it's just next level yeah like 
I love it. Museum is pretty epic. Yeah. Um, and then real quickly, what is your uh, what is your fondest memory or your most favorite memory of Animal Crossing? I mean, this is a pretty lame one, but it just adds to the kind of character of the game, I think. Goose, my favorite character. And if you guys, I don't know if you guys know, but like at university, I studied paleontology and geology. So I'm dead into like di- big into dinosaurs and stuff. Yes. Um, so like one day when I'd finally like pretty much finished the museum, I found Goose, my favorite character, like wandering around looking at all the dinosaurs in the museum. And I just was like, this is the cutest. This is the best. Right. Game's Aww. done. I'm playing it. Me That's and Goose so hanging nice. out with the fossils. You I, are, was, I was over it. You're correct. That, that, that is pretty lean. No, that I'm just is, kidding. No. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. No, oh, I like that. Because I love that part. Like, them actually doing stuff like that. Like, yeah. for me, um, same thing. When I got the museum up and running, and I, I think when I finished the fossils, I went through, and there was there was Bill like checking out and he's like oh you you donated this stuff and i'm yeah. like that's pretty cool man i like that so yeah. yeah it's pretty it's pretty neat um okay so that said that's where we're at let's wrap this episode up with you brought a topic with you for the week i did what is your topic for the week so i want to know from you guys if we could introduce a brand new npc so one that's not been in any games before what would they be? What would they do? Mm-hmm. What what role would they fill? Um, fortunately for me, I've had the luxury of answering this question a couple times, so I already have my answer. So okay. I'll do I'll do mine first, Holly, because you look yeah. like you're you're struggling with thought. I need a bit of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see the, no, sm- I, okay. the smoke starting to come out, and, and Iggy will be in, in a second, and and being like, "What's on fire in there?" Um, <laughs> That's <just> my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I want a grizzly bear. I want a grizzly bear. That is, I want him named, like, Jack, like, for a lumberjack. I want him in a flannel shirt. And I want him to work in, like, a Home Depot-esque store where you can buy your your supplies you need. Like, so if you want, if you don't want to go harvesting wood, you can just go to him and buy bundles of wood. Um, that would be so good. Yeah, want, that or rocks oh. or whatever you need, whatever materials you could need. Could be on like a rotation thing, and it could be something where it's like so. Because I'm sure people right now are going like that would break the game and kill. It. Okay, fine, <laughs> whatever. How about we make it where it's a limited supply he has each day. You can only buy like 20 pieces of wood, or and maybe today he has wood and tomorrow he has soft wood, or yeah. you know maybe he doesn't have everything, and you have to upgrade his store a little bit. You know, I would love that. Like, to me, it would just take what we've learned with this game and, and what we've gotten so far with this game and just take it a step further and go like, hey, we're going to progress with this game. We're making this game something special. So for me, that would be the be all end all. That would be really good. I think that'd be awesome. Thank you. Because I've literally run out of wood. I do I, all I the time. Of it. Oh, yeah, I do. So. <laughs> yeah. Holly, what do you got? <laughs> So, I have got something in my head for once. Um, what game was it where you had little, like, NES GameCube. systems? The GameCube one. I would love, I would love an NPC. And I'm going to go with a red panda because they're my favorite animal ever. And we don't have one in game or in the series. Red so panda. Red pa- a red panda. There's a such thing as a red panda? <gasps> Bobby, you've not seen them? No. They're cute. Are oh they? my gosh. They are like the combination of a panda, a raccoon, and a fox. Like, it's the perfect animal <laughs> for me, They're so cute. They're so cute. And I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, they originate from Japan. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Maybe, yeah. Or, or I know they originate from Asia, but I feel like they're using a lot of Japanese type things. That's Correct a raccoon. Wrong, That's not a panda. Comments. No, it's a red panda. Um, <laughs> and I would love an NPC like, say they're a red panda, and maybe once a month or once a week you have a chance for them to come to your island and you can buy one of the NES games off of them and then you can play it on your island. Because I'm pretty sure that was a thing. Wasn't it? Yeah. You could like actually play the game. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. would love something like that. Um, I just want I just want an NPC that kind of focuses on like gaming, because I mentioned this in a previous episode that I would love uh, like a gamer personality type 
or something yes. like that That'd because be cool. i feel like we're playing a game why like why not so i think that's what i would like something that comes and maybe or maybe one that could give us that or could give us mario items or something something along those lines just to add that little extra like oh i wonder what i'll get from them this week you know because then say somebody if they were 12 cro- games somebody crossbred these things there is no way this is no. naturally born. I ca- I can't. I actually can't let you say that. They are my favorite it animal. It looks in the like whole a raccoon, Holly. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, they're the cutest things ever. There's a zoo nearby where they have two called Maggie and Jasper, and I Aww. literally went and watched them four times. When we went to another zoo, I waited an hour and a half just to make sure we were at the front of the thing when they did their little. Their little like demonstration of feeding them. I love them so. I mean, much. don't get me wrong; they're very cute. But yeah, I look they... at it; I don't see bear when I look at it. Like I look at it, I go, "That's a raccoon." But <laughs> but okay. I mean, I can see oh, them some Southwest pictures. In China. It's China. Oh well, Asia. the stuff that they do over there I, wouldn't surprise me. Who knows? Anyway. <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> Eastern Himalayas. They're eating bats and stuff. You know, like who knows what. They're... <laughs> What happened over there with that thing? Um, what about you, Charlotte? What do you like? This is your topic. What did what did you bring for it? So I really like, obviously, because I like fossils so much, which just seems to be a reoccurring theme of my time in Animal Crossings. But I just think once you've completed the museum, which was really easy this game because we didn't have the gyroids and we ten- we got like hundreds of fossils every day. <laughs> so I like now the kind of like. A little bit useless. Like I've used some on my island, but I've got these all these fossils. So I'd like an NPC. I'm thinking like something that's got a vibe of like a really old person, because I feel like old people Turtle. like fossils are really old. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah to- this could be a- actually to be fair. Yeah, we could give him a new role. Yeah. But I'd like him to come. I'd like him to buy like fossils for a higher price, like CJ and flick do Mm -hmm. but then i'd also like the element of maybe he's looking for a a couple of fossils and maybe there's like a new furniture set and he could trade you a piece of this new furniture set for a specific fossil that maybe he's looking for i'd like a bit of a because i feel now like you've got tons of fossils and you're just chucking them at nooks if you're not using them on your island so maybe we could do something like that with them i think that would be good yeah i like that. that i like that idea a lot it, 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 let's be fair for a minute here, because you said that you completed the island pretty, or the, the fossils very quickly. You didn't complete the museum, but you completed the the, 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 the fossils. fossils. Yeah. Hmm. Did you trade a lot? No, didn't wow, trade any. You just got them just trade up. I I got them pretty easy, but I traded towards the end. Yeah. Like I got to about ten left, and I just because I, I had so many duplicates. Yeah, and I was just like, "Okay, guys, I'm dumping. What do you need? What do you need?" And I was just like giving them yeah. away, and I was taking what I got. And within like three days, I I completed it at the end. So it took me about a month to complete. Which, to be fair though, there was so many duplicates compared. I wish what they would have done is they would have stuck to you get three a day. Yeah, that's it. And there weren't duplicates, and it took you. It would have literally taken you a few months to complete them all. You know, yeah. Because I think the problem was was there were so many duplicates. I think it was like day two, and I was duplicating, and I'm like, <laughs> how in the world am I duplicating already? Like I've only gotten yeah, like ninety percent of the museum's empty. Like how the heck? You know, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was crazy. like the most annoying because like my whole island's called Ceratop Bay because Triceratops are my favorite. Uh, so I had the idea yeah. to have the Triceratops like out, but I wanted to complete the museum first mm-hmm. and the last. <laughs> fossil that i needed was a triceratops torso so i needed it for the museum and for my display outside Dude. i was like of all the duplicates this is the one that i can't get <laughs> you know what? i think i think you are now my favorite guest ever just yeah. because of the fact that like the museum is my jam like yeah. i love we the museum. are museum people aren't we yeah. we love yeah we i love i museum. seriously love the museum and to me and i've said this numerous times I feel like in this game, the museum is the centerpiece to that game. Yeah. For sure. And, like, that's why, like, when I decorate the museum, the museum has to be, like, top-notch. Has to be the best of what I'm looking to accomplish. A feature piece. Yes. Statement. It's, just, it's yeah. the crown jewel of the entire island. Like, everything rotates around it. And 
I don't think a lot of people get that. Like, I've done a lot mm-hmm. of island tours, and it's slowly coming around. And people, I think, because I keep, like, harping on people, like, the museum is the best. Now my audience, at least, is starting to go, like, hey, you know. There were a few islands that I went to that people actually knocked me for a loop with how great their museums were. Um, but a lot of them are trash, and they really <gasps> need to... No, I'm being honest. A lot of them, you need to work on them. And if, if you're if you're saying to yourself right now, is he talking about me? Yes, I'm talking about you. Go <laughs> fix your museum. Yeah, because you would know. You would know. Yeah. Yeah. You would know <laughs> if I said you're... Right if, out now. I, yeah. You would know if I said your you museum was awesome. You wouldn't question yourself yeah, if it was good. Exactly. Like Pat. Pat needs to go fix that garbage museum that he has. That thing is trash. Listen, straight up. Like, I went and did a great job on my campsite to yeah. impress him. You would think as me being his friend, he would do the same thing for me for the museum. Oh, no. 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 He just throws caution to the wind, man. He don't care. So, uh, <laughs> no, but in all in all seriousness, like, I have always, since day one, the museum has been like, we're going to do something special with building it. I'm, I think right now, I started last night, started redesigning my museum, and um, probably this week. So if you if you're watching this, just check my channel. I probably have a speed build up of it as of now, where I redid the whole thing, and I was just like, "We're going to do it a third time." So this is the third time, and I've completely yeah. changed it the way I'm doing it, and like I've actually moved. But the thing that the thing that the kicker is is the last design that I built, I had three fossils out: uh, T Rex, Stegosaurus, Triceratops. Yeah. Those were my three. <laughs> those were my three favorite dinosaurs as a kid. Um, I just remember them so vividly as a kid. They're my three favorite dinosaurs. So for me, like that's just that's the pinnacle to be all end all. Love that. Gotta be. Gotta be. I love that. Charlotte, thank you so much for doing this for us and with us. This was an yeah. absolute pleasure. Yeah, it's Thanks been so good. I've really enjoyed it. It's been so fun being on here. It's, it's, it's great. I, I, If you have not experienced Charlotte before, please go check out all her stuff, all her content, everything. If you're not subscribed, please, you're here watching, subscribe. You will not regret it. I trust you. Yeah. I, I assure you. Trust me. Um, with that, that is all. Peace out, Preston. <laughs>